Hello, everybody. Hope all is well. Um, this has been on my heart for, for for a while. I think I may have shared this before, but um, just had a testimony. Just just um, want to share how good God has been in my life and um, through the trials and tribulations, um, He's been able to bless me through them. Um, I want to say about. Six years ago now, maybe about six years ago, 2014, I um, got an opportunity to be a part of a show um, where I booked the role. um, And then I went from being a cast member to asked to be a writer on the show, a producer. And it was a great opportunity for me because um, I hadn't had that, that opportunity of this magnitude. So I, I was hungry and I was eager, uh, but there was, there was a couple of things that um, were some red flags that I didn't pay attention to, or should I say I neglected? I, I saw some things, but I was so eager to the, for the opportunity that I uh, didn't really see God's wisdom for wisdom on it, and I could I felt follow through with it, and. Um, that opportunity, you know, happened, and um, I was able to get some some people a, a part of the project. Some um, she was t- talented individual, and I felt like I was giving people opportunity. That was this was my opportunity as a, as a producer and as a person that was a part of something that could be amazing. And so things started to change um, as far as. We were pulling shoot one time, one date, and the date kept changing and all these things. And um, so I was kind of given an ultimatum, not really an ultimatum of, of my of my job at the time, saying that I couldn't do both. I could, you know, because I didn't know when I was going to shoot, but I I knew this was a great opportunity. And so I was given one date. And so I told them one day and pretty much long story short, I had to go from being full time in my job to part time. Guaranteeing me really no hours, any hours they you know that was available, pretty much. So I I took a, a leap of faith without really seeking God for wisdom in it, and really really truly praying about it and seeing what God says. Um, so I started working uh, with this 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 company, and um, I wasn't getting paid. Um, I kept asking when I'm going to get paid, when I'm going to get paid, finally get a check and the check bounced and it frees my account. Um, And I'm still trying to be patient because I'm like, I got bills to pay. I got things I got to take care of. And, um, you know, still kept saying that, you know, they'll take care of it. They'll take care of it. Um, Then we, we get to just trying to shoot the shoot the t- the TV show and um, I'm supposed to have a, a a meeting with with a, a studio it's the studio we're gonna shoot with I contact the studio and they have no idea what I'm talking about they don't have us on the on the on the list for a meeting don't have me on the on the list f- to, to pretty much <laughs> do anything so I'm, I'm confused. So I um, have a conversation with with the person in, in charge and saying pretty much I, I spoke with someone and they have no idea what I'm talking about. So that happened. Then another situation where we go and we're supposed to shoot at a studio. No, it's, it's a soundstage, I guess, a soundstage. And we get there. I have cast there and um, another A-list is on their way. And we go in and I tell them, hey, we're here to, to shoot the show. And once again, they do not have us on the list. They don't know what I'm talking about. I am totally looking like a fool right now. So I get on the phone and I tell the A-list talent, don't don't come. It's not going to ha- It's not happening. I don't know what's going on. 
I need to figure this out. I apologize for your time being wasted. Yeah, it just wasn't a good look for me because I was thrust into the forefront of it all where I was calling managers and agents and, and pretty much um, sending contracts, getting agreements done, and, and pretty much the face of <laughs> this whole situation. So as you can you can imagine, that if this thing falls... It's on me because my name is out there as well. So I, I'm at this point, I'm in tears because I don't put a lot of time, a lot of energy into this project. And this is really what I have right now because I am uh, pretty much sacrificed my, my, my guaranteed paycheck for this opportunity. And the type of money that I was going to be making was going to be able to help, you know, um, me take care of my family and help me um, do some things for people and just basically help get people opportunity uh, by being a producer on this on this TV show. Um, I also get a phone call from a producer friend of mine who hears about the project because it is um, kind of a not a spinoff, but a, another it was an entity of another pro show that already had been on. So the creator of that show wasn't aware that this was 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 go happening so i'm having to fill these type of calls and and explain to them what was explained to me um so yeah it's pretty pretty truly the the middleman but the forefront of it all because my name is out there my name is um on this project so i simply have to um have a conversation with the cast and tell them this is what's going on we meet we we go we go get something to eat and i say hey guys this is what's going on i've been working on this project for y'all know how long um i haven't got paid i've got bounced checks i've got broken promises i'm at uh, i'm at a loss for words i'm really just broken right now i'm willing to walk away from this project but what i'm not willing to do is leave you guys behind to fend for yourselves. So it's either we all in or we all out. And they they were like, well, let's see what what was what he has to say or what they what's going on. So the person in charge called me and said, I have another studio that we're gonna be shooting at. See if you can get that A-list talent back. And I was like, probably not gonna happen. But let me call. Call the A-list talent, told him I said, Hey, I know it's a I don't even know why I'm calling you, but I'm, now they want to shoot at this location. And I don't blame you if you're done, because I'm almost done myself. And he's like, nah, I'm good. And I was like, absolutely, got you. Um, so we go and we go to this, this studio where we're going to be shooting at. And he's talking, the guy's talking to the people at the studio and the guy's asking who's directing the person points to me i'm directing never directed before first time i'm hearing about i'm directing don't know how to work a um uh was a, a alexa re alexa we have no dp we have no crew we have nobody to shoot so the studio has to now <laughs> get a whole crew for us which is crazy. And then here's another kicker. We're shooting on green screen. We're shooting a sitcom on green screen. What? Does that make any sense? So I'm like, okay, I'm still, we here. I'm still trying to roll with it. Don't make sense. I'm still trying to roll with it. So the studio gets us a crew. They negotiate the pay with the person who's going to be paying them. We're going to shoot us some scenes that one of the main characters that's supposed to be there is not there. It was told that they were traveling from another part of California. Something in my spirit just was like, this don't make sense. So I'll call that person's manager and ask, hey, how far are they from, you know, getting to the set? And they were like, what are you talking about? I said, well, yeah, that was told that they are coming from from another part of California for a film, it's like, no, it's actually me that's coming from another part of California. That person is currently in Florida. What? Wow. So I'm like, 
Wow. I, I'm already before this, I was kind of on the urge of wanting to put hands on the person, but God would, would, um, <laughs> withheld me and it kept me in my spirit and not in flesh. Um, but it was simply just a eye opening, crazy experience. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, but I directed, uh, we got some scenes done. We got, a di- did a good job directing and we made some things happen. But once again, we're shooting on green screen. So I can't expect there to be amazing product after this. So I get a headache and I just can't sh- direct the last episode. So one of my boys, he directs the last, I mean, not the last episode, the last scene. Um, so the end, so then on top of that, the next day, or well, actually that night, the person's writing checks to the crew and everything. The next day, my phone is ringing off the hook because they all were written bad checks. Yes, they were all given bad checks, even the studio. So now they understand that it's not me. They understand, but they know that I'm affiliated with that person. So they're pretty upset. Let me tell you this. That situation almost ended my career. Um, Because it was a big thing. You had name talent involved. You had all these different people involved. And I was in the forefront because people trusted in me. They may not trust this person they were dealing with. They saw some shakiness, but they saw something in me. They believed in me. So they knew me. Um, So I was the poster child for it. Um, So, yeah, I just imagine I'm devastated. I'm like, my God, like, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, Yeah, it put me through a little depression. I was in a moment of depression because I was just like, what am I going to do? I mean, pretty much didn't gave up my position and my job. Um, But, well, let me tell you this. Let me me tell the, the goodness that came out of that. The goodness that came out of something bad was it allowed me to to know that I could run a show, that I could produce and show run a show and command the respect of talent. I could negotiate agreements um, or contracts with agents and managers. I could do everything that it took to run a show. I didn't know that before this happened. This Situation I learned from it. it pushed me because I dealt with a lot of things um, before we got things going with the show. Like I was truly invested in this project, and it and it birthed something in me. Pers- more perseverance, determination, understanding that sometimes things won't always go the way you planned them, but it's how you execute. When you're in those moments and how you get out of them and how you um, make something negative into something positive. So with that situation happening, it allowed me to know that I could do all these things. I could be a producer. I could be a director. I could be a, a writer. I could be a casting director. And from that project. Allow me to therefore want to do um, my own sitcom. But I first did a project, um, a short, a short, because that led me to that situation. I mean, from that situation. And so I, I simply learned that I can do it. I can do any, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I I, uh, I could do all, yeah, I could just, I, I had to truly believe in God, in God to pull me through it, you know. I would trust in him with all my heart and lean out to my own understanding. Like, simply, I couldn't even fathom what was going on in that moment. Like, it was just craziness. I'm like, how did I put myself in this situation? But it's how God got me out of it that was more important. And I'm and I'm thankful for that learning experience. I mean, I liked it in that moment, and I understood what could have happened, but God blessed me. God still allowed me to not 
be homeless, not be without. He blessed me. So the simple testimony was just to say that be smart about decisions that you make in your life and your career, everything. Pray about it. Meditate on it. Don't say yes as soon as you, you get asked something or you feel like it's a great opportunity. Everything that looks great ain't great. Like had this been done right and everything been on up and up, we could have had three, four seasons out of this project. It's It was so amazing. It was such an amazing project, such an amazing cast. It was it was truly heartbreaking for this thing to not happen. And we had so many talented people. Um, But God, God pulled me through. So as y'all see, that situation birthed all these projects that I've done, birthed me wanting to, to even do web series and, and be nominated for Emmy. Had I not gone through that, the person that I am now as a producer, I may not have been that. So I'm thankful for that learning experience. And I just want to pass on more knowledge to, to people so they don't go through something like that. And I have no ill wills towards that person. I've seen them since then. It's all love because I know, I know, I truly know their heart. I know their heart. That's the thing. And that's a, the crazy thing. Sometimes you know a person's heart. You see the true in the, the true person that they really are. But what they how they act and what they their actions may not uh represent that. And so you have to sometimes have to separate the two, which is a hard thing to do. But I saw God in him. I just saw a lost soul. I saw something that he the person couldn't be truthful and honest with me. And had they been truthful and honest with me, I would have been like, I would have been able to make a, a, a clear decision on what I was going to do. But I, I was not um I wasn't given that that um that that opportunity, you know, and it's, it's unfortunate. But um, got nothing but love for the person. I have no, like I say, no ill wills. It's just something that happened. It's a l part of my my journey, and it's something that I that that pushes me forward to to succeed in this business, to succeed in it all. So I'm just blessed and honored. I thank you guys. Have a good one. Be blessed. Love you.